Hi. In this video we have a we're looking at a new post for Spice of Your Blog, in which we have another very cool jQuery zoom effect that you can use on the images on your blog. Now, a couple of weeks ago we showed you a way to, that you could have a container that would appear beside images that would um allow people to zoom and see different parts of the images more in depth. And that was published in this post here. And in this post we had a demo which is right here. And when we hovered over one of the images, a container appeared, as you can see there, in which you could zoom in onto the images. Very cool effect, and um, works very well. Um, what I wanted to do was give a different option and not have the container. So what I've set up now is what's called an inner zoom. And the inner zoom actually zooms within that image space. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I have a test set up here for this post. And I have a couple of examples. There's the same images again, image again. And we'll see when we hover now, the zoom appears within the actual image space. I have a couple more examples down here. Just smaller images. You can see how it still works the same for the motorbike image. Still works the same. It's a really cool effect. And this time we don't have the container. It appears within the image. So the post is set up here, just about to be published, and this is actually really, really quick and simple and really easy to add to your blog. It's only a couple of lines of code needed. And we have the steps here, um, basically to find the closing head tag in your blog. So let's go and just have a quick look at that. If I click design, I'm just going to click it in the nav bar, edit HTML. We'll use, come down here and we'll use control F and to get our search bar up forward slash head here's the closing head tag and there you can see the two lines of code as I've added them so you can copy them from that post and just paste them in there now once you have that done you're actually ready to go pretty much and um, all you have to do is add the tags to the actual image code that will make this work on the images that you want to work on so I have a, a couple of examples here in the post and if we edit the post that we already have here with a couple of images, we can see how they've been added. Um, so you can see in here, class equals cloud zoom, which had to be added. And then you also add a rel, which is needed here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly upload another image so you can have a look at it. So let's just grab an image um, from the default images here on the computer. Um, so we'll grab the image of the koala, upload image, and what I've done is I've shown two, uh, two examples, it's the very same thing, but I've just shown an example with a, a regular image that you might grab somewhere, and when you upload an image to Blogger like this, um, I'm actually doing it in the HTML mode, I'll explain that in a second, um, but when you upload it like this, Blogger, the images that Blogger uploaded, it just looks slightly different, so let's click done. Yes, yeah, so the difference is that most of you work in your Compose tab here like this. So you can see the two tabs, Compose and Edit HTML. So I know most of you be in Compose. When you upload your image, you can see that's being resized. That's actually quite a large image. Um, so when you upload your image, you just click the Edit HTML tab. Come down to your image code, which is here. And then, as shown in the post here for the Blogger example, you can see this code I have here looks the very same. As this code and all we're doing is and you'll have the, the div the blogger at here and in the second line you'll have um, in your image jumping across quite quickly there you will have in your image in the second line you'll have a href and then your image URL and it's between the a and the href that we place um, the, the snippet that we have which is this here so you can see a class equals cloud zoom then your rel then we have the href so all you'd be doing is copying this little snippet of code here and placing it between the a and the href like so in the space now we have our snippet in if i publish that post view the post go down to our koala bear image which is here and there you go we get a zoom effect so it's it is quite straightforward um, one of the things I know because I've been covering a lot of jQuery posts and I know a lot you've been adding them to your blog 
but um, I'll have this highlighted. But if you've added jQuery from another tutorial um, on Spice of your blog and any other blog, um, you only need the jQuery code in once the the main jQuery code or script in, so you don't need to add this part. So then you'll actually only be adding one snippet of code. And if you haven't used jQuery before, make sure you get both bits in. Okay, so that's a, a cool inner zoom for the images on your blog. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or elsewhere, click the link below in the description to come back to the post and you can get all those codes. And uh, thanks for watching the video.